Folks, uh, we're here again on Let's Talk Relationships on Yumi Radio. And guys, if you don't have the app, remember you got to go to your Play Store, you go to your Google Store, or you whatever you're going to call it, and get the app. It's one word. It's the letter U-M-E Radio. One word. Get the app, and we have so much there that's going on. You'll be like, oh, my goodness. You, you'll be scared, but not in a bad way. Anyway, folks, I'm here. We're here with Marsha J. And uh, hey, how are you, Marsha? I am fantastic. Thanks for asking. And thank you awesome. for having me tonight. You're looking fantastic. Thank All right. you. Marsha J is someone I've known for a long time. Am I right, Marsha J? All right. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. We are, we have, we have had a friendship that goes way back. But tonight, uh, she's in the capacity of of a guest. So uh, she is the CEO of Marsha J Ministries. And this is a faith-based organization anchored in love, leadership, worship, and wellness. It operates under the overall goal and mission to empower people to strive for quality of life through worship, health, care and harmonious relationships and uh, uh let me just share with you some of the governing values that we that Marsha J ministries uphold so they are people driven they have they have enthusiastic teamwork going on for them they they have growth environment they have safe and confidential services so you need to check them out, guys. And their objectives are to organize and implement uplifting and wholesome entertainment for public consumption. They also empower millennials to increase self-confidence, to influence their choices for better life outcomes. And they also foster strong health, healthy and faith-based relationships as kings and queens for the kingdom and they also contribute to the national development through charitable outreach with uh, key stakeholders so under this umbrella is also royal events and their tagline is celebrating life one event at a time I know that is a mouthful. Uh, Marsha J, she yes. is a minister of religion and she is a certified event planner for over 10 years. All right. So, Marsha J. Yes. <laughs> how are you? I am feeling so great and so honored to be on the program. All right. I, fe I felt like I just read your entire life story. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, how one, thick but... is that book? How thick is that book, huh? I tell you. Yeah, <laughs> but it's so good to have you on tonight. I know you personally, and I know that you have accomplished a lot. And so it's good to have two beautiful and successful ladies on the show tonight. That's right. So, go, ladies. Go, ladies. Uh, <laughs> could you, yes. <laughs> so... <laughs> So, Marsha J, could you just tell me a little bit more about your brand and uh, some of the things that are going on with you right now? Okay, so most persons know me ideally as a recording artist first. But what they don't know is that I have a very, very deep and hidden passion for relationships. And so out of that was birthed Royal Events. Now, right. all I have for over 10 years um, been planning wedding well events generally but most times if there's a wedding call marsha mm -hmm. and so i was working in corporate for over let's say about six years or something like that yes. and in between my job i would always find the time to be doing weddings and funny enough even before i was um elevated to a minister of religion my friends would always call me about their relationship and advice and the fact that you know Marsha is such a great listener and so when I came across my success coach 
uh, mycoachministry.com. What that did for me was gave me the ability to put all the things I love into one entire uh, basket or presentation and now I can do what I love and love what I do. So oh, we right. do <laughs> live and virtual events as well as we do consultations for uh, churches, church leaders, things like that. So those are, that's the main thing that we do. All right. So I know with the whole COVID, you know, everybody's talking about that girl Corona. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, I know with, you know, COVID kind of slowing every, everybody down, uh, how has that impacted weddings on a whole and, you know, your services um, as it relates to weddings and so on? Great question. Um, I think it, it has affected not just me, but just the event industry. Yeah. Um, but for me personally, I have had um, clients who have postponed and they have canceled. Um, so there's lots of jobs. <laughs> there are event delays, shipping delays. I had a, a bride that ordered her wedding dress and it ended right. up in another country. Oh, wow. Um, wow. Bridesmaid's oh, dress came. It was damaged. Oh, um, wow. There was a lot of depression, frustration where the couple is concerned. Mm. The fact that they now maybe have to consider smaller gathering. Like yeah. I have one bride whose father had passed, mother is in England, mm. and then just not being able to have her there. Another yeah, one, so her dad is overseas, so it's a whole lot of rides. Yeah, so and uh, of course, uh, we have had, prior to the corona, unknowingly, there has been uh, a contamination. There's a story of a contamination that I read about, but the mm -hmm. couple just wasn't aware of it until they went on their honeymoon and guests started to come down with the virus. And then they were called oh and asked God. to check wow. them in only to find out that they themselves were also carriers. Oh my goodness. So um, mm. it's really a big hit because I do also have vendors, uh, persons who right. dresses, decor, uh, food nice. industry. <laughs> there is one um, farmer that was in Trelawney. Well, I'm in Jamaica. It's an international brand, but I'm in Jamaica. There was one farmer who did, um, who does eggs for hotels. And of course, the orders would have been very large, like thousands of eggs. And then when yes, the hotels... Yes, I saw that too. Yeah. He, had, yeah, he had no idea what to do with the eggs and oh just started eating so there has been a lot in terms of the event industry as to the effects of COVID-19. So I know I know you have a lot of things doing going on under your brand. So uh, I know the industry. I know Fabella as as well. Um, um, she she has faced some kind of hit where you know her acting career and so on. But any pluses, Marsha J? Um, you know, any blessings is, in disguise? Any yes. like, silver lining? As a matter of, as a matter of fact, let me, ask you before that. Let, me ask, let me ask you one question before this. Now, tell me, Marsha, during this crazy time, when everything kind of went in pause, did you ever say to something, I'm going to quit? I, I, can't, I can't take it anymore. Did you ever went there in your mind, in your spirit, in your thoughts? Like, See, this is I too much. I'm, I'm quitting. This is crazy. I don't think I went as far as quit, but I was extremely discouraged because, you know, this is how I make a living, crossing over from um, full-time, nine to five, to mm -hmm. being your own boss. You know, there are certain responsibilities that you do have under your belt, and sometimes you are not able to meet the obligation. And so, you know, you begin to think, okay, Lord, what do I do? Where do I go? Um, sort right. of feeling, because... If you don't encourage yourself, people are there to encourage you, but sometimes you are by yourself and you have to encourage yourself. Maybe take a, a couple of days and sleep it mm -hmm. off. <laughs> if it gets that bad, maybe run, talk to somebody for your own mental health and then know, yes. come back and say to yourself, let's re-strategize. Let's do this again. Let's do some research because it opened up um, the virtual side of, of business even more because yes i already have a website i'm already on social media you know but now everybody's at home and their eyes are on their phone on their computer so how do i maximize in a time okay. like this so that's where you know i was really yes okay awesome 
So, so again, um, let me ask another question. Now, I hear a couple of things that you're, you're doing. Um, where is your heart? Where does your heart stay? Where, where, where do you feel most, most excited or excitable about when you in that moment? Is it on stage? Is it at a wedding when you see the couple getting married? Is it a nice white dress going on and you plan this whole event, you see all the colors, your decoration, your dream, your vision? Oh, boy. You know or is it when you grab you that know? mic and, and go across Listen. stage? What is it? What is it? Now, talk to me. Listen, I love love. Because even before, uh, I mean, even during the time of just love. Me recording me oh. mm -hmm. artists, I have always been like a wedding singer. You know, my dad is okay. a bishop, so. I am always at the church. Yes, I know that. Wedding. Oh, you see, no, I know. I didn't, I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't even know I that. I love see? love. That's mm -hmm. just me. I love love. I love to see healthy relationships. I love to track the health of relationships. You know, just to know that, um, like my dad would probably officiate a wedding and then five years later, they're coming to do a vow renewal, things like that always gets me excited. As long as what I do is being a blessing to them and it's ministering to them, it hits the goal of for me and like you know just ministering and empowering one million people you know in different ways i have had you know tears shed while singing as well as um just recently one of my vendors decided during covid you know decided to grant one of my brides a free dress mm -hmm. and she cried because her fiance lost his uh -huh. job mm -hmm. um she lost her job you know and it was just in the middle of planning um, planning what's going on. So I love all of it. I love absolutely all of it. And I'm super, super always excited. And my brides will tell you the first time they meet me, I come in with a whole lot of noise and a whole lot of excitement just to say, congratulations, <laughs> you're getting hitched. Okay. Now, now, you know, I, I'm going to throw something in the mix here. Tony, ask a question to Marsha. Anything comes to your mind, you want to ask her. Just throw something in there. Okay. Oh, you ask me now? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh, 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 oh. Um, uh, okay. Uh, actually, <laughs> actually, Kristen, make, make her I think hard. Uh, make, make her think really hard. <laughs> make her work hard tonight, Tony. Work her, work her hard. You know, well, since yeah. I'm a pre bride, pre court, <laughs> I have not even uh, one caller right now. So I guess I, <laughs> I got some time to check in. <laughs> when you see couples come in, do are they splitting the wedding fees down the middle, or are you seeing the traditional father of the bride paying for things, or is the you know the mother of the son doing it now? Who's paying for this these weddings, and That's what's the average cost? That's <laughs> a very interesting question. Thank you for asking. All right. So based on what I have seen so far, the bride and the groom have been the one, you know, saving up for the moment for the most part. But we have family members that try to come in. They may do a sponsorship here or there. They may decide, okay, I'll do the cake. I'll do the rings. I'll do the dresses. Um, if you would read, like, for instance, uh, an etiquette book, normally it would outline who should really be paying for what. But I guess in Jamaica, because funding is such, it's so unusual sometimes, you know, couples go ahead. I have a bride right now that her dad wants nothing to do with her wedding, you know? So yeah. there are many, it depends on the scenario and depends on the situation. Yeah. You know, the couples have been responding. My responsibility, however, and I tell them this from the get-go, is to make sure that one, their bills are covered before the wedding comes around. Two, That's when right. they go home, they're not starving. I went to yeah. a friend's wedding at one time and she had like nearly a hundred people and they took a taxi to go to the hotel and her mom was staying at a hotel and had a chartered vehicle. Mm, no, I goodness. told them, I said, if Royal Events was handling it, this would have never happened. You know, so I have seen mm. a lot. I've been around weddings since I was like 10. So I could tell you stories about monies and splitting and mishandling funds and things like that. Um, yeah. So it just depends. It just depends. It's, some, it's a conversation that needs to be had with the couple. Yeah. Right? And that's, that's why. That's a good sorry, question. Uh, yeah, sorry, weddings are not question. the greatest thing. Take at mm -hmm. least a year. 
to plan it, so your budget. And you were asking the question of a typical cost. Now, the cost of the wedding would be determined by the services that are needed, but um, weddings can cost you, in terms of US, it can cost you from uh, 1500 going up. And it depends on what needs to be covered. And if your wedding coordinator is a day coordinator or they're planning the entire thing. Okay. Because he or she would have to work along with that team. That's wow. right. As somebody that is post bride, <laughs> can I say that? Is that yeah. Yeah. is that is that <laughs> even a, a, a thing? Yes. <laughs> somebody who's post bride who have who who have gone through, you know, the whole wedding and so on. It is really, really important to plan and budget. And just just as Marsha J said, it's really a conversation that needs to be had, you and your partner and family, if the case might be, you know, depending on your situation, as to how the funds are being handled. Because that's one of the things I told my husband. I am not having a big wedding and I cannot cook a proper meal because I don't have no money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I made that very clear. You know, but uh, I think we did a pretty good job, right, Marsha J? Yes, yes. There you go. It was phenomenal. And if you ever subscribe to so um, Royal Events newspaper, Rochelle's wedding was featured. Amazing. You, you said you said Royals Events paper, correct? That's, that's Royal Royals. Events. Royal events paper. Nice, yes. nice, nice. And one so, more thing about um, just before you, you asked the next question. In most actually, actually, actually well, before you go there, before you go there, have before you go there, uh, sorry. sorry, before you go there, I want to hold that thought, hold that thought, because I want to hear after this break, we're doing a nice little break here, and I want to hear a nice love song about wedding, because I'm in the mood now. See, it's <laughs> your fault, and I was trying to, I was trying to hold my peace, <laughs> folks. That was Marsha J. Boy, you know my favorite part of this song is when it says. If I live, baby, oh my God. Anyway, anyway, folks, I'm here. We're back. We're back. So, Marsha J. Yes. I love that. I love that song. Oh, thank you. You know, it I, was we, written we, by we, Easton we should have like a, Oh, yeah, it was written by Easton Merritt. For those of you who don't know, my, my, my older brother. Yeah. And, and uh, I sang it at his wedding. And was produced by my twin brother Carl. That, what a what a crazy world we're in, you know? We all tied up, we all not together tonight. We all tied Small up. Small world. Small world. But tonight is about Tani and about Marsha J. And um, we have a good time so far, guys. Remember, this is Yumi Radio. And don't forget, let's talk relationship. We are having a good time tonight. Don't forget to get the app. And we thank God for our sponsors. Missy, help us there. Uh, we want to say a sh big shout out to our sponsors tonight. We want to say uh, thank you to Amazon for coming on board, for sponsoring us. We have sponsors like Macy's and Aquasana. We want to say thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, big up, big up. Let my clean fresh water. Board. As yes. I always say in Jamaica, we say big up your yourself. <laughs> there you go. Big up yourself. <laughs> Yeah. That's right. So we have a tip for relationship today, a great tip. So I, I, I know I want to give some one of us a chance to give a tip, some tip for having a great relationship. So Marsha, tell me, tell me tell us something tonight that we can we can take with us as some of us are looking to get married someday or maybe are married or want to get married. Uh tell me a great tip that we can take with us to make a strong relationship work or make a strong relationship. Wow. All right. So my tip is going to be based on an article that I saw in the business Inst insider, which stated that in the Chinese city of Zion, it has been recorded that divorce rates have been skyrocketed since COVID-19. And one of the reasons they have attributed it to is because of um, having been quarantined in close quarters, it created inflammatory environments, they say, for marital feuding. And as a result, many couples have been bound at home over a month, which evoke underlying conflicts. Now, it's simple. Spend the time with each other. 
and mm. communicate because we live in such a fast paced environment. And I do, one of the things that I, I preach and I talk about is the cross and it has a vertical and a horizontal beam or relationship with each other in this case, husband and wife, or if we're dating and our relationship with God, in order for any relationship to work, it's the basic communication process. And I'm also a communication major. It's speaking and listening, processing, and replying. A lot of times we don't spend enough time to listen to what each other has to say. And so even sometimes the very method that we use to communicate as a couple is not effective. And so he prefers texting, I prefer a phone call, uh, when we get home, I'm tired. Or one couple I observed that I was staying with for a while, when the husband is going in, the wife is coming out. And when the wife mm. is coming in, the husband is going out. And they meet at church. And, mm. you know, different things can happen if we don't spend time with each other and we don't communicate. So those are two key things I would advise anyone in a relationship to do. So you're saying, so you're saying if, I, if I'm here correctly, you're saying, Spend time with the, with each other, and read yes. lots of bedtime stories. Right? Correct. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I like that. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> <laughs> you got a, you got a Tony. Spend got time it. together, got and read it. lots of bedtime and stories. Communicate. And I would communicate. love a bedtime. I would love a bedtime. Story. <laughs> you know what I'm telling you? In God, good. <laughs> Yeah, so we, we're coming down to the Y, folks, a few minutes to go. I love to laugh. Laugh is great. And um, right. it's medicine. Yeah, you know, it's really been fantastic here. It feels like family, and it's what's about, you know. And as we touch um, each other, you know, um, and we touch the world, we know it's going to come back, you know, in some way that we, may, we might be surprised. We, yes. I'm, I'm, I'm truly, yes. I'm truly happy to see that people are galvanized the way they are. I think blacks looking forward, uh, it, it's going to get better. It's going to get brighter. We have gone through a lot, and of course, there are many oh, grounds yeah. to cover. But it's good to see women like Marsha J and stepping up, women like uh, Tani Belafonte striving and and setting the pace for other young girls coming up. Um, of course, we have a teacher here. Call, I call you guys heroes, and I myself work in the school, so I know that um, that uh, that there's much we can do, and that much we'll, we will continue to do as we have this platform here. Okay. Uh, again, boy, I tell you, Marsha, thank you for being here with us. Um, you did a great, great job. Yes. And um, may, may want to get married now, so be careful. You <laughs> might don't start something tonight, um, Marsha. <laughs> To call royal events, we do destination weddings. Yes, so, I'm yes. thinking. I'm, is it time? My, my mind's going. My mind's going right now. My mind destination. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exotic. Oh, God, yes, remember to jump on the website, guys. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> and Tony, any, slash events. Yes, Tony. Anything you want to share with us before you go? Any last words? Websites, links, anything to let the folks know what, what what's about. Um. Yeah, Miss Belafonte is where you can find me. Um. You mentioned. You asked about a relationship advice and I'll try to make it quick um I think one thing that we can all do is just give each other a little bit more grace within relationships I think sometimes when we have an issue with the way someone else does something or the way they don't do something and we express it we we want yeah. the person to make it right like tomorrow you know and it's like <laughs> the person's been yeah. doing a certain way for a certain amount of time so you have to give them grace in order for them to like you said marcia process it so that they can then respond yeah. you can't just look you can't say well i don't like this and expect him to get it right tomorrow it's like <laughs> you gotta get a man some time you know so mm -hmm. i find i think like giving giving your partner grace to to kind of learn what it is that you want and and be able to meet your expectation in that way that's right a healthy, yeah. a healthy amount not like <laughs> <laughs> Not over overextending now, you know. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah. I like that. I like that, Tony. I like that. Yeah. Misty, you know we know how we do it before we go. Uh yeah. I just wanna say, ladies, thank you so much for coming in, your insight and just sharing your own truth and your purpose and you know, uh having us to see a little bit inside of your brand. We do appreciate that. 
uh, for those who listened to us tonight and took the time to be in our space. We want to thank you so much. It is such a great privilege to know that even in a time like this, we can bond in this kind of way. So even though we are virtual, we are yes. still keeping the connection going. And I so appreciate that. We know we black people, you know, we are close knit. We like to be in each other's company, yes, you know, right. whether we That's like right. it or not. That's and right. so just the opportunity to share with each other, it's such a blessing. Thank you guys so much for coming on. It was truly a wonderful evening. So that's it from me. Just be yes. good, guys. Well, be good. Love God. Laugh often. And uh, God bless you. Yes. Once again, guys, let's talk relationships. Thanks for being here. And we love you. And see you next and time. And see you next time.